Coming to you from the floor of the 2023 NAB Show, Brandon Costa from Sports Video Group. Always excited to be on the booth of Sony here in the Central Hall. We're joined by a good friend of SVG, Rob Willicks. Rob, wonderful to see you, sir. How you doing? Oh, it's, it's great to be back here. It really is to show some new stuff and really reconnect with our customers. Okay, so obviously a ton of big things that we could talk about. Let's focus in on a couple of things here. First of all, we're in front of one of the Sony 5500s, which have become very, very ubiquitous across live sports. Uh, what are some of the big improvements that you guys are introducing to that camera specifically at this show? Really, the, the biggest one is uh, a new variable neutral density filter and 4 times 4 k which at 4 times 4 k which is uh, really um, been a desire of the, the community. Yeah, uh, we were able to do two times 4K up to this year. Four times 4K should enable some of the people who are going to be doing 4K HDR, either streams or telecasts this fall. So we'd love to know more about the neutral density filter because it's objectively just probably one of the cooler things you guys are showing here. So what does it do and what does it enable specifically for the sports market? Well, as you, as you know, that shallow depth of field has become very popular this year. But it's, it's difficult to work with, both from an operational standpoint. You know, if you have a, a lighting change, it's kind of immediately abandoned in terms of I've, I've got, to get a, uh, got to get an exposure. But, so what this allows you to do is, is pick your depth of field, and the camera will figure the rest of, rest of it out. So you, if you want to run it, say, F4, give yourself a really nice depth, and the camera you know, will work with you to be able to, to operate. The other thing too is, uh, when you're doing exposure on a, a camera with five, five, uh, five NDs on the wheel, when that camera's on air, you can't change that. And it's, it's something we've done deliberately so you don't see that filter move on air. With the variable frame rate, you can make that adjustment. So you can pull the iris down and the director doesn't have to wait to say, fix, fix this, or you change this. Uh, the, the video one, can make that change dynamically on air uh, very, very quickly. And the camera's gonna help them try to get that exposure back. So it uses a combination of, chain, of uh, controlling the light coming into the camera and then controlling the gains and the shutter of the camera to make sure you can maintain you know, that beautiful depth of field and not have the, the exposure change during the adjustment. A lot of directors, focus pullers, uh, camera operators that are really going to enjoy that one, I bet. No, and it, it really, I'm not going to say it's going to make the job easier, but I think it's going to make the job much more consistent. Okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's nice. All right, well, uh, Rob, obviously this isn't your first rodeo at this <laughs> show. So uh, uh, someone like you, what are you looking forward to at this show? I mean, obviously we were here last year, but this already feels like, you know, pre-pandemic times already to an extent in terms of attendance and everything. What are you looking forward to this week? Well, you know, you guys run such a great event out at Red Rock, and it brings in everybody that we want to talk to. So the guys who are running the big trucks and the guys who are producing the shows and be able to show them some of this new technology. Every year, you know, it seems everybody's up in the ante, whether it's virtual sets or augmented reality or longer, longer lenses. Uh, more cameras on a show and more different types of cameras on a show, and also Remy. So we, we've got a really good solution, I think, for all of those facets of the business. And, uh, you know, what we really love to image with our cameras. So developing that whole family of global shutter cameras that will really do anything and, and high definition from a very modest cost right through to this 4K at four times is a, a great forte. So we like to capture history, sure. yeah, and, and make it look as good as we can. Nice. Really cool stuff as always. Rob, we know this is a very busy week, so thanks so much for taking the time for us. Have a great show, and uh, again, we appreciate the time. I appreciate your time, and uh, keep doing what you're doing. You're, you've become such a, a, a great point of information for me, okay. and um, yeah, keep doing it. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. All right, for more of everything going on here at the 2023 NAB show, including at the Sony booth here in the Central Hall, head on over to our site at sportsvideo.org.